Oh, hey, everybody, and welcome to Shenanigans. How are you all doing this fine morning slash afternoon slash evening? Scared, excited. Uh, Very well. Uh, Waking up. Same time. Yes. Hmm. Enjoying the time traveling effects of being in many places at once. Yes. Yes, yes. yes. Excellent. Well, as, as everybody knows, like Rob is a time traveler, of course. I mean, uh, he is basically mm -hmm. the 15th reincarnation of Doctor Who. Now, let me tell you, this show goes well, except for the person that dies in real life. Right. That was a shocker. <laughs> Damn it. But I won't tell you who it's going to be. <laughs> I already know. Wow. Well, <laughs> Pat? What? Pat, you're going to... No. Wait, what? Something, something I should know what? about. What are we talking about? <laughs> nothing, nothing. Nothing. Just Fine. go on Don't like behind you. Go on behind you. There's, there's a guy there. Live Just... today like it's your last. When you start your car. <laughs> <laughs> That's every day for me. When your car starts smoking when you start it, don't jump out. Yeah, just it's the way it happen, you know? I just yeah. go with it. If it happens, it happens. Because if you get crippled Good instead man. of instantly die, that's going to suck. <laughs> instead of instantly dying, that doesn't suck? That's, that's cool? Well... I think that's generally true. I mean, Explosions like, are like dying, the way to die. Like fighting a bear is cool. Being mauled by a bear and spending the next 20 years having somebody change your diaper as you lie drooling in a bed, less cool. Okay, well, okay, there, yes, yes. And he's if way you take it to that to, level, then yeah. That'd he's be, way too young to be using a catheter. Like, it's just a thing. I thought Pat was like 65. so convenient, though. You can just go whenever you want. But then you have, empty, you have to empty the bag, though. Have you guys seen that cowboy catheter commercial? I couldn't stop laughing when I watched or it. I could just like get a commercial. really big tank next to my desk so I never, never have to leave my computer. Cowboy mm. catheter? Is this an area that we it's actually want to venture commercial. into? I woke up one morning, I turned on the TV, and there was a commercial about a cowboy and how he uses a catheter. Don't, don't tell us about it. I think our imagination is going to be better. Yeah. Yeah, I think... I know, you know, I He's think like, I want to watch I've it for myself. Don't give me any spoilers. He's like, I've been a professional cowboy for 25 years, and I... <laughs> you can't even do it because I'm laughing. <laughs> anyway. so, so, guys, um, today, Chucky, uh, Roman, no. Do you go by Chucky Adrian or Roman. Gabriel? What do, what do we call you? I, I so, like, I'm as so you've lost. seen, I go by Gabriel. Gabriel, okay. Gabriel, but... On the internet, I'm just checking. All right, so just... Gabriel is going to be our DM today. Um, because Chucky is a nickname for Gabriel? No, no. Uh, how that happened, I don't, I don't know if I told you the story. Um, basically, one day, well, it was my birthday, and we were trying to cut the cake. But suddenly, the power went out, so there was no lights anymore. So somebody turned on a light on a flashlight on their phone, and I just decided to pull a prank on them. So I just literally went in front of them like very easily and did this with a knife. And and then he screamed. And it was funny because yesterday night we watched the Chucky movies. Ah. So so everybody started calling me Chucky after that. It's it it's stuck. See, once you started with the birthday party, I was thinking that maybe your parents didn't have a lot of money and they couldn't afford <laughs> a cake that so said Gabriel on it, but there was like a canceled birthday and there was a cake <laughs> that said is canceled. <laughs> they're like, I don't know. Do you think you can read yet? Let's give him this Chucky cake. He won't know. <laughs> it's just been revoked. The saddest part about that is the cancelled birthday. So yeah, oh God. Anyway, yeah. the the overlays are changing momentarily to reflect your your proper name, and I will do my best to refer to you by that. Okay. Well, anyway, um, you guys, uh, do we start now? Or do we want to do anything else? Uh, does anything? Anyone have any things to say that need to be said? Catheter. <laughs> okay, yeah. then um, why don't you start off, have us introduce our characters, and give us a little somber story. Yeah, so uh, about that. Let's, do, let's do character introduction first. Neil, 
Who, what broken character <laughs> that you've totally game hacked are you playing? I am playing playing Harry Hoofdini, the Milkbringer, steer of utter bullshit. Um, mm -hmm. I am a wizard with 18 You're strength. You're a wizard, Harry. I am a wizard. I'm a hairy wizard, actually. Memories. Uh, You're a hairy wizard, Harry. Ah, yes, yes. With ridiculously broken stats, 18 strength, 18 dex, 16 con, 15 intel, 4 willpower, 8 charisma, and 16 perception. Um, and I, I bring the milk. That's my job. I mean... Does your milk yeah. bring all the boys to the yard? Only if I shake it first. Um, but since I'm a minotaur, there's not a lot of shaking going on. He's very serious. He doesn't have a great sense of humor, and he kind of misinterprets things a lot. Um, Would it very... be possible for you to teach that to Jack? I mean, Jill? Teach you how to shake, to make, bring milk? To bring all the boys to the yard. Why would Jill need boys brought to the yard? You missed your line, dude. Anyway. All right. Oh, uh, shit, I don't know the line. <laughs> He doesn't get references. Yeah, yeah, like Neo and references. Like, uh, I, I live under a rock, fuck, guys. I, I don't know the joke you guys are trying to make me do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Neo, I mean, we gotta cooperate here. I'm, I'm sorry. Just trying to, that's trying why to why work with you. I'm that's trying. Why he's doing Bukan so he can live somewhere else than a rock. You know, like try no. actual human living. <laughs> I don't I'm know. I mean. What are these Star Wars people are talking about? Are we being invaded? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's not nice. Um, okay, so Rob, what character are you playing? And what, what definite female are you playing? Uh, I am playing Jill, who is definitely not Jack, who is definitely not an elven male, but is a human female, uh, fighter, magic user, thief, accountant, pretty much anything else you can think of. And uh, I'm definitely not the alter ego of La Sombra. Prince of Thieves. Okay. So, next in line after that on the other way, we have Pat with the amazing yes, Joaquin. Yes, I am playing Joaquin Santa Maria. Cool. A dwarf fighter who stands about five feet, so he's pretty tall for a dwarf. And he's wearing split mail and du and dual wield shield, so he's pretty much made of shields. Mm -hmm. Also, can use his shields as symbols, so he's a symbol player as well. In black and and uh, what did you do last time? Um, dancing with your shield, yes. Yes, I did that. Shield too. danced, yes. Shield dancing, nice. very dangerous. New thing, first heard it here. Eric, what's up? Hello, I'm Eric playing Mana Thurman, former noble girl turned ranger, former lover of the late Slade Wilson, Slade Milson, um, deathly afraid and allergic of cheese because that scared her off the last time she was here. She uh, she fainted, yes, at the, the, the smell of cheese. Oh, no, she, she smelled the cheese when she went into that dungeon and mm -hmm. she had to get out of there, otherwise she's going to have an allergic reaction. She found a potion, though, that made her slightly less deathly allergic, but still like, meh. Got it, got it. Yeah. So, as always, you guys are in the bar of shenanigans, and I think somebody here is telling the story. So, Lissandra says, I'm a professional cowboy. <laughs> 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 What does that mean? Oh, that's right. Uh, it's less funny when I we thought, have a minute more around. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you told me you were female. Are you male, actually? No, no, no. This is what Lasombra said. Lasombra is super male. All the ladies love Lasombra. And he's a cow? Lasombra is a minotaur? Oh, boy. Cow some, boy. some say that he's a minotaur, yes. We, we call our one. We, we call our young minotaur men or minotaur boys minotaurs as well. We do not differentiate between cow and calf. Nothing goes over his head. Uh... If it did, he would spear it on its horns. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
I shall go bring us more milk. And uh, I head back to the bar to get another round of ice cold milk. Okay. Uh, well, this man does give you the ice cold milk. Uh, Thank you, Desmond. And, then, and he, like, you see him. He looks a bit um, anxious, Uh-oh. and at the same time, a bit sickly. Like he's he's a bit faint. He's fading. We have to get back and perform at the prom, or he's going to completely disappear. <laughs> you got to play some Charles Barry. Um, he seems, I mean, you guys have been here around uh, for the week, as always. He seems a bit on the slide of his health. Like he's not, he had a cold for the last couple of days, and it's still raging on. It's still not looking that good. Huh. Whatever he's got to consider chicken soup. That's healthy as long as you're not a chicken. Mm, don't have to make chicken soup. You know. well, wife will be home soon, and then she'll she'll make one for me. In Minotauria, we have a saying that such soup is good for one's soul. Yes, yes, whatever. Um, Especially if you are a teenager. A teenager. That is what you call one of your youths, yes? He just shakes his head and says yes. Mm. That man is very odd sometimes. Anyway, you... You guys over... Where's where's Irene? Have you seen her? No, haven't seen her in about a week. Oddly enough, no. Hmm. I think I'm going to let my fire insurance policies last for a week then. <laughs> good, good. And he's, he still seems pissed off at Wyleen. Like, very pissed off at Wyleen. What did Wyleen do? Like, just ask your friends, they know. Guys, oh, what did do? Uh, she ordered a hit on one of his friends. Bosh! I can hear him like screaming for the for the orc. Uh, Bosh Thunderballs was the name of the cook. orc cook. Yes, he he screams for the cook, and you like to see Bosh taking over the bar for a bit, and like uh, Desmond is going to his quarters. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Uh, so, so well, I think this week's mission is pretty clear. We need to get him some soup. I I agree. This man is very ill. We had best get him some sort of health remedy. You know, uh, Bessie yeah. has excellent milk. Perhaps some of the freshest milk from Bessie would cure him. I recommend that we immediately seek her out. Um, as you guys just stand around and, and start with, you, you start to hear sounds coming from the out, from outside. People in the bar already kind of going outside, to seeing what it is. There, su- there seems to be a lot of sound coming from outside and shouting. Like, what's that outside? Sounds like there's some sort of commotion. Let's go check it out. Let's. <clears throat> All right, let's go see what's up. Perhaps there's some soup involved. So you guys walk outside, and on the top of a building, just like besides shenanigans, you see a man standing with hands in his shoulders, and he's wearing this... Um... It's like... He's wearing this funny hat. It... Doesn't look good on him anyway, but he seems to be uh, playing it very, uh, very much. And he has this yeah. rose in his ear uh, that you can see, but he, he just knocked over his hat and is just scrambling over for it. He says, ah, ha, ha, meet me, see me, world. I am the Night Rose, and I am here for a Sombra. I have traveled far and wide to find her, and I have been told that she weighs here. Well, Sombra's a and, man. Yes. Yes, Sombra's a really super manly man. He the weighs man. here. And if she does not... He. If he does not appear, I will kill all the chickens that we have captured. We have stolen all the chickens in the town of Dead and West Istru and Sausageville. And that we name's shall a real kill mouthful, them all. isn't it? Oh no, how are That's we going to make name. chicken soup now? We need chicken this is... soup for this. <laughs> uh, I think if the chickens are killed, then they make soup more easily than if they are alive. That's, That's true. Stole all the chickens. You mean you're going to cook them? Um, this sounds excellent. 
I hope this Lasombra does not show up. We can really appreciate the help. This sounds like a really good deal. We'll get some noodles. Nobody will have it. chicken if Lasombra does not show herself and face us. Why not? And uh, suddenly, as, as you as you start talking, he says, face us. Like, people started appealing to, to his side. Like, just and peering out of thin air, like, poof, poof, poof. No, 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 no. Like, they were on, a, they were on like, a building. Like, people literally walking in front so you can see them from behind. Like, they were maybe a bit far behind waiting for mm -hmm. the queue. Uh, to my side, I have the questionator. And this, like, big, burly man covered in, like, a hair. Like, he is hairy. Like, everything is hair on him. Um, and you see, like, his big two, like, gloved fists with spikes coming out of him. Just... <laughs> Joe Headshot! And you see a man coming out uh, with a uh, big longbow in his back, and he has, like, a very big curved nose and uh, a patch eye going on his left, on his left eye. And Eugene Poison Breath. And this uh, dwarf comes down like tummy. <laughs> here, here. Uh, he seems quite short and has like a mo mohawk. Uh, and he's like he has like a bandolier with a lot of small potions. We are the Fabulous Four because the Fantastic Four were taken, <laughs> and the Fabulous Five were taken. I I've seen this kind of thing before. They're going to talk tough. It's going to seem like they're like jumping and body slamming into us. But in reality, we won't get hurt. And they're going to spend most of their time, you know, like with storylines between them. I, yeah. hmm. This is not a diet of wrestling. I cast yeah. a spell, DM. I cast a spell. Okay, you cast a spell <laughs> as, uh, as they walk there. What do you cast? I cast Wall of Fog. Well, fog. What do you on the building, in fog? and so they're just enveloped in fog. Okay, uh, you cast all fog. I don't think there's any roll that needs to be done. You just cast. Nope, they're just, fog. they're covered in fog. How big is it? Uh, I think it's twenty feet by ten feet by ten feet. <coughs> so like twenty feet long, ten feet wide, ten feet tall. Okay, uh, and as you cast that, it's like we'll see you later, Asambra. Guys, guys, come on, this is a good out. Come on, run. And you, you, you see, like, the shadows kind of move. They don't realize right. that light still goes by in this. You can still kind of see <coughs> shadows. So they just they, they move out. Hmm. So as they're moving out, I'll just shout. So, like, how long before did you guys have to, like, go hide around the side of the building and sit around waiting for, you know, him to say the line? What if he flubbed the line and then you'd be, like, stuck there without the opening line? Do you do that a lot? You bring uh, a book? You start as you as you scream. You start them kind of. You start hearing them arguing like, "You idiot, he's right." Shut up, move. And and they they, they disappear out of sight. No, but maybe they've got a point. That was mysterious. Maybe they've got a point. Maybe we should get like a whole bunch of people, a whole bunch of guards, hire them. And then they follow along in alleyways hidden just out of sight. And so, and we just kind of like keep waiting for that moment when someone says, you and what army? Mm -hmm. And we can go this way. And they all come out. It'd be expensive, but I think that'd be worth it. I am unashamed to sp say that I have spent all of my money on Bessie. I have no money left to buy higher guards. Mm -hmm. Bessie yes, should I'm become our leader. Expensive. We should really seek her advice on this matter. No. There's a good attempt at Minotaur, but it is pronounced <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we need to go what? find the Sombra so he can solve the situation and we can get some chicken so we can make some chicken soup for Desmond. I thought the scrawny oh, male just agreed that we should go see Bessie. Or oh, hear me out on this. Maybe I track where they went and we murder their faces. That is an option. For making roast chicken? I thought this was a delicacy. No, it's pretty common. Perhaps I'm using I mean, the word delicacy you, wrong. Have you, have you seen a lot of chickens? Small okay. feathered creatures. 
Yes, they're very. Yeah, they're, common. they're saying they've taken all the chickens, and I'm really finding that hard to believe. And I think, I'm just thinking about storing all the chickens in town. Mm -hmm. That's got to be a pain in the ass. Mm -hmm. And I could go for some chicken tonight because I feel like chicken tonight. Chicken tonight, unless they store like them all in the tonight. under dim. Hmm. There's plenty of space down there. Such a place shall never be visited again. It was a true <laughs> horror to all of us. Uh, I look meaningfully at everyone. <laughs> you make me he laugh, looks meaning, meaningfully at the DM. <laughs> I don't know. That might recur in a future episode in our lives. Perhaps I will sit that one out. I must take care of Bessie. She needs protection. Well, anyway, I, I'm going to go look for Lissambra, because I feel like Lissambra should be involved in this whole process. If there was another Minotaur in town, I would know. Clearly Lissambra is not here. I go I go running off to uh, to look for Lissambra. Mm -hmm. so Strange man. You, running, run, you see this man, kind of, this actually this gnome, um, like about a couple of streets away, he's working on his invention. And this invention is like a, a red phone booth, but it doesn't, it doesn't actually have a phone. It's like a red booth of, made out of a wood. And he names it <clears throat> the Boothinator. If you ever need to change in, in town, just so you can find a place to do it, this is my new invention. It needs to be a little bigger inside to fit me. Huh. Perhaps yeah, paint it blue. Crazy. Don't worry. This booth should it, definitely be bigger on the inside. Definitely bigger on the inside. Mm -hmm. Or smaller, smaller <laughs> on the outside. We have a joke in Minotauria <laughs> that our women are bigger on the inside. You, you know, to, you know, <laughs> you joke. to accommodate large Minotaur men. You, you don't have that joke. I, we, got <laughs> it. Not, we got it. Maybe That's it does not translate can. well. It is a, is a, uh, we, we got it, we got it, but... <laughs> Stop now. It's a vagina joke. Do you do do you not have these things? <laughs> Nana, Nana well, I have one and I guess she has one, so I thought you ran off. Yeah, I know you ran off. I'm, 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 I'm gonna go check out the, the boothinator. Is this why you're uh, called the milk bringer? It seems like for a second, like the gnome is looking another way and he's like just talking to somebody in another corner that's not looking at your way and the boofinator is just, just there. All right, I duck in. You duck in. What do you do inside of the boofinator? I say to myself, Jill steps in, but out will step the sombra. And as you step, like, as you step out, the gnome is kind of just looking now. My first client! I must say there, short citizen. This is well done. I think you should install these all around town. Yes, 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 yes. I'll talk to the mayor soon. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. And, um, Gosambra. And I run very dramatically. Uh, no, I'm going to climb up to the, the roof of the nearest building and run across the rooftops. Okay, you Keep run it. across the rooftops. What is the rest of the party doing while you guys are doing this? Like what he, what he is just going, changing, what are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna find where the guys went if I can track well, them. I, I, yeah, I would like to try and speak with my party. I think they're listening to Harry explain about vaginas. <laughs> no, he Ow, stops, vagina. he stops we, speaking uh, about them very quickly. Um, uh, perhaps, we had best find where these men went, or find if there are chickens left in town, and acquire some chickens for this so-called soup for Mr. Desmond. Yes. All right. To this point, I arrive on the top of the building next to you. I heard that La Sombra was needed. Oh, my God, it's so sad. That is no Minotaur. And I'll, you know, scale down the building very with lots of flourishes and things like that. I climb down the building, hopping down, landing lightly. Okay. La you Sombra is always here when he is needed. Oh, Tell I got me. La Sombra. I've heard all the stories. Ah, yes. 
I was told you were a minotaur. No, just hung like one. Hmm. A minotaur should never be hung. It's a severe insult. So you are saying that none of the minotaurs in your land are hung? Only the greatest traitors. We prefer to decapitate. Uh, but, a, but, a good, but a good minotaur like you would never be considered to be hung. No, no. I would never be hung. <laughs> <laughs> uh, everything goes over the Minotaur's head. It's okay, <laughs> Lissombra. Yes. Uh, people Stop. are kind of forming yeah. like, a, like a small circle around you as you just say your Sombra several times if you've just seen this. Mm. Uh, I mean, you've been telling the stories of Lissombra and shenanigans for quite some time. So you there is a small following of people like, is, it, is she shitting? Is she? Is she? Is, is this actually him? Wait, it's a samba. Uh, it's, it's a samba. <laughs> and there are there are kids with small right. of people now surrounding you. La so I, I I pick out the scan the crowd. Pick out the most beautiful looking woman. I appear to notice her. Okay, and let's see what the I most gaze beautiful. at her. <laughs> Here we go. The, the most beautiful woman. Look at that. That's the problem. The Sombra is fine with that. He goes for the two. All right. Yeah, he, she goes. He, yeah, he goes for the four hotness. There we go. And so basically, the knows. teenager. Why same. don't you roll She's her going... wisdom and her intelligence? Because that is what makes her true. Sure it does, buddy. Uh, seven, uh, ten intelligence, and six wisdom. Really? Wow. Wow. Yeah. You go. Things that are expected of the song. So I look over to this woman. I gaze at her very mm -hmm. smokily. I take a step towards her, <laughs> then back. I've, I've heard a story, so something is I look nice. back to her. <laughs> I walk up to her. I take her hands together. Hold her up close. Perhaps later, you and I shall meet. <sighs> aren't you a wanted man by many criminal... Uh, aren't you a, a, a self-proclaimed thief wanted by many governments? It is true that there are many who want La Sombra. Hmm. Were you in Minotauria and thieving, I would bring you to justice. But here in Bergsvale, it matters not. Where? Yes, and we won't. We'll, we know that you would not be hung here or there. Of course not. Anyways, there are these chicken thieves, and I hear that Desmond is in need of this soup de pollo. I don't know what soup you de pollo is, but indeed, we are looking for these chickens. Sopa de pollo. So, it seems to me we can either search for the chickens, which must be somewhere since they were here, those men were here, but the chickens were not. Or we can look for them and hope the chickens are there. Hmm. Yeah. Dana, the word on the streets that you know how to track. They will be expecting us to track them. But can you track the chickens? Uh, maybe if we go to their... Well, no, I imagine if the chickens were captured, they would be put in like a bag or a box and that would be it. They'd be carried somewhere. So I'd still be tracking them. Ah, this is why you are so well known as a princess of Trakas. <laughs> these, these nuances escape the rest of us. But you, you... You see what we do not. Oh, you, you're just flirting. 
I try to give a girly giggle, but I can't really do that in real life. Come so. on, you can do it, Eric. <laughs> you can try. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Come, let us find a coop where chickens have been stolen from, and then you can try. Them. Then okay. you can do what you do best. Lasombra, you smell an awful lot like Jack or Jill or whatever your alter ego is. <laughs> Wait a minute. Jill, it's Jill. It Jill. is the vanilla oil. I find it is the sexiest of the oils. It makes me want some cookies. <laughs> yes, cookies. All right. Uh, let's go hunt down some chickens as I begin to track them. Well, first we must find where chickens were stolen from. I suppose. To the farm. Okay, uh, there is actually a big chicken farm uh, right near to the Big Apple Farm. Uh, and they're named Big Chicken Farm and Big Apple Farm uh, at the edge of town. I cannot help but wonder. Are they simply big farms or do they grow big chickens and big apples? Yes. Maybe that, like that's one. That's actually the catch, like the catchphrase. Come here to figure out if we're a big farm or we can grow big chickens. You'll find out that it's both. That's literally underneath their name, like big chicken farm, in that text. <laughs> well, we I go. wonder if the middle class people who come here and pay to do their apple picking for them are larger as well. <laughs> So you you see this um, you see this dwarf. He has like a white beard. He has like a couple of wisps of hair in his in his hand, and he has this um, like two three day old dead chicken in his hand, and he's crying. He says, "My chickens, my chickens, they're all gone." Oh no! What has become of your chickens? <laughs> In the night, somebody stole them. I was sweeping my chickens. I've, I've done that since child. And, and last night, this, this, this griddle dwarf comes and he smelled weird. He smelled like a cock does. And it's all the chickens started following him. And I couldn't, I tried to stop one, but I squeezed too hard and I killed it. <laughs> oh. Why are you crying? Bad. Poor Lenny. It is clear. It is clear that holding on to this chicken is only increasing your sorrow. Let us take it from you and dispose of it properly and respectfully so that you can begin the healing process. Give me give me a charisma check on that. Right. Samba, you, you somehow have the same charisma as Jill. Who, who would have known? Oh shit! I'm not in roll twenty. That's uh, that's good. <laughs> I'm not even in roll twenty. Let's see what is my hey. Fourteen. There okay. we go. Rolling in. What did you roll? I said to double check my charisma. No. And I rolled and recognized command. Unrecognized command. The best type of commands. <laughs> and that's because I'm trying to do it in uh, the channel chat instead in of Twitch chat instead of roll twenty chat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> that that's what happens when you're trying to reach out too much, you know? Yeah. It's the fan service. It's the fan service. This episode has a lot of fan service. Oh, there it is. That was oh, good. so good. Yeah. I dropped my dice. He <laughs> he nods his head and kind of. <laughs> you, should, you should take her. His name was Barry Gold. She had all these golden spoons, <laughs> and she gives uh, it to you. Yeah, this is a tragedy. No man. Should have to outlive his chickens. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that actually the entire point of raising chickens? I mean, don't they have short lifespans? Yeah, nope. 
he just cries. Like he's he's on the ground. He's crying. <laughs> he's like throwing a small puddle of tears. Don't you eat their children, <laughs> born and unborn? <laughs> Don't you sometimes bathe the mother in her child's fetus? <laughs> every, every time, like, every time he says something, he whimpers again. <laughs> This man is very strange. Harry, I think there is something stuck on the end of your tail. I grabbed the end of my tail. You are mistaken. That is simply the... What's the hair on the end of a tail called? Tough, I think. That is simply the tuft. No, it's further down. I think you should look and then keep looking, turning and turning to try to <laughs> see. I think if you do that long enough... You I am not a dog. I do not chase my own tail. I am highly insulted that you have said this. <laughs> I I was simply concerned uh, that there down, was something man. on your tail. Do you take me for an idiot? Yes. <laughs> I can tell my services are not wanted here. Don't I will go are. and conduct this investigation on my own. Come back, Minotaur. She was only, she was only making a funny. Hmm. It's a joke. It's a metaphor. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's certainly not a metaphor. <laughs> yes, it was more of a simile using a comparison. Utilizing light like or eyes. Harry Hooftini goes down the road to the next farm, the next closest chicken farm. Also, what, what time of day is it? Uh, well, you just went to Shannon's, you talked a bit, so maybe you'd say it's like noon. Okay. Maybe a bit past noon. Cool. Okay, so you go to the other chicken farm. Yeah. Okay, there are a couple of other. Well, now wait, were we going to track chickens? To move so many chickens must have required a big operation. Perhaps some sort of wagon of some sort. Because these are big chickens and they have lots of them. But however clever they were, they cannot escape. Administrations of Nena. Nena, do what you do best. Track the wagon or the chickens or both. Because I feel like being dumb right now. <laughs> <laughs> if the chickens oh. went into the wagons, then track both. Yeah. Follow. Let's just go to the chicken coop and then you can follow. And see Wait, you guys aren't coming with me? I don't want to get The ganked. story unfolds. Yes, let's go to the chicken coop to see to the site of the robbery. But I want to go with you guys. I don't want to go alone. These guys are murderous. Oh, chicken murderers. We, they are. Are. we are going. We're going oh, to the okay. coop. Or the one of the coops. <clears throat> okay, so uh, you swine start uh, to track. Can you give me a track check? Yeah. Do you have tracking? I do. I'm a ranger. Oh, fantastic. Uh, is there any other special rules to tracking you? Uh, if you, yeah, there are plenty of special rules. If that's just the plot, it's the role was successful. <laughs> <laughs> that is one way of doing it. Um, if you want to... Is it a percentage or is it a skill check? It's uh, a skill check, but then you, there's also all sorts of like modifiers for shit um no it's it's you just do me the wall and i think we're good with that i'm sure there's plenty of chicken shit lying around here so. i'm just gonna yeah. link you the the specific rules if you are so inclined at a later date chucky yeah please okay uh, it's just in normal uh normal chat there yeah. we go. Perfect. so those uh, are the modifiers and penalties that you'd get for various shits okay so it is uh it is a soft and muddy ground um Wow, you get a gigantic modifier because every two creatures in a group. So there were. Let me roll. I'm just gonna roll one d, one hundred to see how many there were. Okay, there were about forty-five chickens. So yeah, you make it. You have enough presses in there that you can make it. Yeah. Which is which is really yeah, the, the advances the plot, so they're all they're always that's okay. I guess you were the one I would have made you fail horribly. Anyway, uh you do see the chicken tracks and they are going somewhere towards the um 
kind of like the north of town, like up north, like where the hilly area is. Um, and as you trap them, let's jump to Harry Fifteenie and see what he's doing because this takes it is a quite a complicated process because they go through all of town. This was on the edge of town south, and they went almost like through all of town. So Harry Fifteenie, you go to the next the biggest chicken farm. Mm -hmm. It's called um, <clears throat> the Ranches Farm. <laughs> it's called Ranches Ranch. Then um, you see Ranch, um, the man. That's in charge. He is a quite uh, tall human. Uh, he has this like piece of wheat in his mouth, just masticating it. He has this uh, big straw hat, and he's dressed in some kind of weird like pants that are so big that cover his chest as well. Wait, he's got hands? No, 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 no pants. 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 Oh, you're his like you're talking like um coveralls, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Overalls, yeah. Yeah, uh, what do you want? Your chickens. They disappeared. All of them? Days ago. All of them. Did you not tell anyone about this? Why have we not heard about the great chicken disappearance of... I don't know how you tell time in this strange place. But told of this year. Guards. I've told the guards they're looking into it. Have all the chickens in town disappeared? I don't know. You'll have to check with the old lunatic up in the biggest chicken farm. All of Us your chickens too. have disappeared, and you haven't asked if other chickens have disappeared. Yeah, I told the guards, waiting for the chickens to come back. They always come back. Your chickens disappear <laughs> regularly? Uh, almost weekly. And they all come back? Usually, yes. A couple of them sometimes remain to... Um, have fun with the cocks, but they, they always come back. Have your male chickens remained? No. Oh, male chickens are everywhere. They're just... They're in the forest. They just come back every couple of weeks. Oh! Hmm. Are you saying your hens disappear weekly to go mate in the woods and then come back? I Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. Let me figure and out yet you I'm still saying. tell the guards weekly. Yes. Interesting. Thank you for your services, man. I highly recommend yeah. that you treat Bessie with great respect. She is the milk bringer and the prophesized cow to save the world. Oh, Bessie, I've had this milk today. I'm oh, pretty good. It is. It is fantastic. I turn awkwardly and stomp back in the direction of my friends. My, you know, I have, my a, friends. I have a cow. I have a cow here that... <laughs> We don't have a bull. Are you interested? I do not understand. Are you offering me your cow? We need, we need like, paying you to, you know, make I will cow. take your cow. Give me the money. Uh, he takes out, uh, like, 25 copper and a silver piece and says, That should be enough. I take it. And show me to the cow. Um, he opens the stall, like, in the back, and you see, like, a lot of cows. And he says, those two in the back, you can take whichever you want. Excellent. I go back, open the doors, lead them by the reins, and take them outside. Okay. Uh, you take them outside, and the man, okay, I'll, I'll not look, I'll let you to your own privacy. And he goes back into his house. Okay. Uh, you said 25 copper and one silver? Yeah. All right, uh, I lead the cows down the street and look of my friends. Okay, you lead the cows down the street and look for your friends. Uh, so you guys are tracking this. Uh, he's coming from the other farm. So eventually somewhere in the town square, you find each other. You see Harry Fifteen leading a couple of cows and he, I guess he beckons at you. The tracks continue on leading north. Don't have a cow, man. Harry, where'd you get a cow? Two cows. We leave, you, we, li we leave you alone for five minutes and you come back with two cows? I have learned that all uh, that other chickens have gone missing, but it is a weekly occurrence. They head off to mate in the woods, and apparently these... No, no offense, but these humans uh, can't tell that they just come back weekly. These humans appear to be quite stupid, and one man has gifted me two of his cows. 
Two. Awesome. Cows. Okay. Very nice. Okay. You have yeah. underestimated you. The, the cows seem to be in like um, in here. Perhaps you are more hungry. So they're, they're wicking oh, you like constantly. They're wicking your uh, your feet constantly as you talk. Like the, the back of your feet as you talk, as you're just standing because they can mm -hmm. just reach your butts, kind of at the edge. Right, right. The, these two females are in heat. They must be. Uh, we must find a bull for them to mate soon. However, that could be a difficult endeavor. I shall probably take them back to Minotauria in a couple of days. <laughs> is that what you call it? Is that is the land where I come it? from. How far is it? Where you come from? <laughs> You're going to take them to Minotauria. Indeed. La Sombra approves of your... Shall be a long voyage by sea. How do you say? I don't know. How do you say? I don't speak your language. <laughs> I, I do not know what you speak of. But I will take these cows back home very soon. I'm sure you First, will. First, we must find yeah. these... Well, I do not think we need to search for the chickens. They shall probably come back in a few days. But the man said that there was a dwarf who smelled like a cock, and the chickens were following him. Perhaps he was using some sort of magic, or maybe just rubbed the cocks all over himself, to... <laughs> <laughs> what is the over-obsession of the word cock? Do you not know also know the word rooster? Please have a more diverse vocabulary. It's one fewer syllable, but so it's easier to say. only four letters. It is much more efficient. Do you not pride yourselves on being efficient in Minotauri? Variety is the spice of life, they say. At least when it comes to linguistics. That is true. If people did not love variety, there would be no Minotaurs. My, in my land, there is a saying... thousand people. <laughs> in my land, there, there is a saying, it is good to be a cunning linguist. Huh. Yes, Pretty sure that is a common phrase in all lands. Well then. I find that it pays off as well. Enough, enough of this. Let us return to, what's his name? The man in the bar. I will bring him two cows. That should make him feel better. Uh, oh yeah, so we have a chicken, so we can make some chicken soup for this. Or yes. you know, borscht, we can give it the borscht. Or do we trust them making chicken soup? I'm pretty sure. What's the worst that could happen? He could die of dysentery. It is a terrible way to go. Well, has Borscht killed anybody yet? I don't know. I don't know if that would be the worst. Perhaps being worse uh, just putting would out be if the soup was made and then his young daughter smelling it, thinking it smelled delicious, came in. But then the chicken had gone bad and his daughter had it. And his daughter died of dysentery right before him. But then he would not die. Uh, the chicken is three days old, dead. Just waiting, yeah. you know. It's kind of smell, too. Cook yeah, it thoroughly, it and it shall be fine. No bacteria so, can survive a steep steering. Yes, we need to heat it to an interior temperature of 165 degrees, and then all will be well. I love it. I love it how uh, Harry Havdini just has no knowledge of jokes, but knows what bacteria is. Of course he knows. <laughs> He's got 15 intelligence, man. I know, no, I, I, I'm, I'm not saying that it shouldn't have. I'm just saying I love the contrast. Yeah, they just, he doesn't have a sense of humor. No, it's not bones. a very good one. No. Okay, so uh, what do you guys do? Uh, is it, I, I think it's, we could take a break here if you want to. Uh, sure, if this is a good point for you, then we'll take our mm -hmm. first break and we'll come back with more shenanigans in a few minutes. <laughs> See you guys yeah. on the other side of a break. Bye-bye. We shall see you on the other